Yo, peoples! Kyushu92 here, here to bring you yet another episode of Kyushu Views Anime. Onwards to One Piece episode 934, and continue the fight of Zoro versus Kamazo. So, let's get it started! So, last we left off, in the world of One Piece, we have Luffy participating in the suicide arena that Queen has set up for him. And he's steadily beaten every person that goes in there. Pleasures, gifters, random people that Queen keeps sending out. None of them are working. But he's also trying to get his hockey to the point where Rayleigh was able to do the... Was, to Rayleigh's level of armament hockey. Meanwhile, Zoro is out here in Ringo fighting one Gyuki model before Hitokiri Kamazo shows up. Who is apparently trying to kill some woman and looks like Toko. And it led to a fight like one of the most well animated, like most well animated fights in Wano that we've seen thus far. Like the overall feel for this fight, it is absolutely amazing. I'm sorry, but I, I, I'm, I'm speaking so I can keep this part in so I don't have to edit it out because of, I'm not saying anything during this episode. But this, this, whole, this whole fight sequence by itself was great. It really is. And now we get to see what happens afterwards. And of course, he's taking off his kimono. But we all know that Zoro really doesn't truly get serious unless he has his bandana on. And we haven't seen him put that thing on since Dress Rosa, so... A big turnover! The three sword style overcomes danger. Then there's Giyuki Maru. Oh, so y'all going for that old timey samurai feel? Like look at the look at the aesthetic of it all. The colors change, the sound itself has changed, as if it's like an old timey samurai movie. And I clearly and I haven't changed the volume for this episode. It's still loud in my ears. Oh, and it went back and the sound went back to normal. Yo, they Okay, they decided, I forget what that style of film is called, where it's black and white, the sound is muffled in old samurai films, but they did the exact same thing for Zoro, except they put it in like a sepia tone. Yeah, you're missing something, you're missing Shisui, bruh. Then we got Luffy back here, in front of Queen, Excavation Labor Camp and Udon. Luffy is literally telling Queen that everyone you're sending to me is too weak for me to train my hockey. I need someone strong. And of course, look at look at Chef Boyardee off to the side. Constantly feeding Queen some of that red bean soup. Man, Winnie the Pooh, then is this what we get if we mix Winnie the Pooh and the Hulk? Bear Man, a gifter. Bear smile for it. That voice sounds familiar. Is that the same voice actor for Pika? Oh, there he is. How do you have the whole body of the bear, but the human side of you is inside of the bear's body? I, is that how gifters work? Well, if the revenant is anything to go by, you know not to get hit by no bear at any given time. None the bear. <laughs> I feel like they... Whoa, okay, hold on. It looks like they're doing the same, going the same angle for Luffy's fight. Like, the way the fight, the fighting is animated, it's animated just like Zoro's fight with Kamazo. This is not the This is not the same exact animation. Like, here, you can tell. It's normal. It's less defined in certain instances. But when it gets to certain more fluid movements, you start to notice. An abandoned village in Kuri, Kenemon and Mink Musketeers. Hey, it's Carrot! We haven't seen her in a while, it seems. Hey, Wanda. It's good to see all the minks, to be quite honest. How did you trip? If you were running this long, how did you trip now? Desdreke! Magician Bazir Hookins! And Team Sanji is... Well, I've already made that joke. I'm not saying it again. Do we also have a name for the mount that Basil Hawkins is riding? It looks like a mix between a deer... Like a massive deer and a lion of some kind. Everyone is still in mourning. Kill shit off! A brothel in the flower capital. Can we just say, can I just say this? I feel like, 
I feel like a good deal of the dudes are massive simps for Komodos Hockey. Because <laughs> as you remember, the slash that cut straight through Wano. That was a that was a bit of a big moment even in the manga when I first read it. I wish you guys could hear this because Orochi's just straight up bawling and crying. Boy, sit down! Yeah, you see how big those sheets of paper are? It's not something you can just easily pass to someone without them noticing. It's a big piece of paper like, here, this is secret, don't let anyone see it. And it's like that big. Look at his face! You saw them lumps on Sanji, but I kind of want to see him in full. <laughs> Yo! He is... <laughs> they beat... <laughs> This man up. <laughs> I know this is supposed to be a serious moment with Shinobu saying that they should silence Beppo and the others, but Sanji's face though. <laughs> That's the price you pay for seeing that happiness punch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should stop looking at Sanji. He's not helping me. Sanji's not helping. This is a very, this is a very serious moment. Stop having Sanji in the frame. I cannot take the seed seriously if I keep looking over at Sanji. But boy, did they do a number on him. Oh, what do you know, Tonoyasu? And then we're cutting back to Zoro. Oh, I think this is, oh, the animation. The animation's come back. You can tell. Then Gyuki Mono's just chilling at the background. I don't trust him to stay still, though. He tried to attack Zoro when Zoro was fighting Kamazo at first. See? What did I say? You See what you done did, Gyuki Mono! Yo. He can't pull the sword out. Is he saying that... Z is Zoro flexing so hard? Flexing his muscle so hard, he's making... He's wedging the blade in his shoulder! <laughs> Here's one thing I realized about Zoro. Unless your slashes are as strong as Mihawks, those slashes are not gonna kill him. That's something I just learned! Why didn't I see it before? Any slashes weaker than Mihawks will not kill Zoro. Ringo Kunigiri! Yo! Yo, this animation is fire! Oh my goodness, this animation. Even after getting impaled through the shoulder. <laughs> How strong. You ain't kidding. And Gyukimon's just walking away. And now the wound starts to actually bleed. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon about slashes that aren't stronger than Mihawk won't be able to kill him. Maybe I spoke too soon. On the next episode of One Piece, Zoro Stun, the shocking identity of the mysterious woman. Well, the next episode ought to be good then. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that was yet another good episode. They're really starting to... I'm seeing more and more instances where the animation starts to look a lot more fluid and a lot more epic when it comes to fighting than I have in any of the previous episodes. Used to be when you would see uh, now Toshi Ishida's or uh, other... I know it's not just him who makes those uh, very detailed animations. And there's other people as well. I just can't remember their names at the moment. But when you see those highly detailed images of fights going on, it really amps up the hype for the episode. So when you see not only Zoro fighting Kamazo and just the fluidity and the epicness of the fights themselves, but also Luffy as well, it's, uh, it's like... Ever since we gone into this Wano arc for the episodes and the animation style has taken on this like, I don't know, what this 
brush stroke type feel to it. The animation seems to have been really, really good in all instances. Sanji's face, I'm not surprised that Robin and Nami did that to him. You know, they know exactly who he is. And it, it it doesn't shock me at all that they would just literally beat the mess out of him because he decided to try and peek on them inside the bathhouse. But to that extent, y'all remember when uh, when uh, Usopp wouldn't wake up and Vivi kept smacking his face and then it got grown to enormous size? Yeah, that's uh, Sanji decided to take some advice from that and decided to ramp up the size of his face. I'm sorry if I was laughing so much during the whole thing. It's just that I couldn't... It was such a serious moment when Shinobu was talking to everybody. Yet Sanji's super enlarged, knotted up head was just there in every scene, and I really couldn't take it seriously as I should have. So I apology, apolo apologies for laughing so much. But this was yet another good episode for this series. Overall, I enjoyed it. I don't know about you guys, but the animation is top notch, especially with Zoro fighting Kamazo, and you just see like the massive hits and everything. It's just so good. Good gracious me. I don't know what else to say. I enjoyed this. You guys let me know what you thought of this episode as a whole. The animation, the voice acting, Orochi and his high-pitched voice over crying over Komurasaki. You know, you know how he is. Still hate him, though. But, uh, the voice actors are really giving it their all with these past recent episodes. Like, seriously. One Piece. Ah. I love this series. But that's all I got for you guys. So with that being said, hope you all enjoyed. Can't wait to see you all in my next videos. Have a fantastic day. And once again, as always, later, peoples.